You might be curious how I do uh, my drawings and I must say I get a lot of inspiration just from nature. I see the leaves and I think oh I want to draw this and or a wood carving everything but of course I look at lots of uh, books and I take part on classes and I have uh, yearbooks so I see in 2014 I joined a class with Iron Tuska Falconer and I think quite often I take this in my hand and look what have I done there and it's how we started doing a pattern to do the same making books with your inspiration and of course taking part on classes and so on. So, Look for inspiration, think about patterns all the time. I want to decorate those cups today. I love it when I have lots of pots available for decoration, but sometimes I have only two. And I will start with cleaning it. They came just out of my firing, so you suppose they should be clean but a little uh, particle of the uh, clay I want to wipe them away and when you touch it you can feel it it's a little bit like dust but obviously it's not dust it's just some leftover from the clay I love to use my pillow <clears throat> and quite often I'm drawing on my lap but here I also have it like that it is a soft surface for, for the pot. And this is uh, just an underglaze I mixed uh, from the recipe I gave you. And this is a blue. I used a cobalt blue uh, and a royal blue blue with 10% of clay. And yeah. That's it. Oh, and I use and I use my magic scroller, so this is a really fine brush. And I need my glasses. And I start just drawing the lines. So horizontal lines. Just draw the line where I can see it and then I turn it and draw. can't speak while I'm drawing because like I'm holding my breath. And you can see I move the pot over the pillow. I just hold the pencil, the brush. And so I just hold the brush. So, and I thought about the design, we'll do it really simple, we'll do just lines and lines in different directions. Quite simple.
I can't look in front of the line that I can see the end where the brush has to finish. So. Don't touch where you put the underglaze, but the part where we have put the underglaze and the three dimensional dots, it's safe to touch. I will add a few lines and I will also create blue lines between the yellow areas. And that's it. It's finished. Sign it on the bottom. I want to decorate the next speaker and this time I will use the bending wheel to make the lines. If you have one, it comes really handy. And this time I want to use a black underglaze and this is a board one. It's easy stroke. And I actually love it because it has some glue in it and so it's safer to touch. It's a self-mixed uh, just with added some clay. Um, you should never touch it. Two drops should be enough. And I will make some drops and I start making the line. It's a pattern I actually love. It's an Islamic pattern, a really old pattern, and I call it rainbows. And actually, this is quite a time consuming process. It would be boring to show you everything, but this is a start. Probably in an hour, I can show you the finished beaker. So it is exactly one hour later and I'm finished. It takes quite a while but now we have the time and I must say the decorating is for me like a meditation and I really enjoy it so hopefully you can as well.